You know, if Lady Rowena can be gone from this world and still release a mission, then I can be retired and still play it. Hey guys, name's Fen, and this is Home Sweet Home, the mission the late, great Lady Rowena was working on before she passed away a little while back, a year or so, a couple of years, geez, I don't even know, time flies, done it. Uh, this was finished up by Andros and tested by a few people, and basically, apparently it was essentially finished, and they just kind of polished it a little bit and fixed some bugs, and so, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's, let's play it. It's gonna be kind of weird. I might get a little emotional or something, but that's alright, because, uh, the world could use more fresh, processed water crackers. So, uh, you know, the description is the description. So, uh, read it. Or, or you're gonna be called a disrespectful git by me. Wait for Zack to deliver the pharmacy key to you. When you have the key, sneak into Marcusio's home and steal the statue called the Unknown God. No need to leave a trail of blood behind you. Don't kill anyone. Oh, hey. Hey, it's been a while since I set foot inside here. This place has seen better days. I'm not here to stay anyway, just long enough to take care of a little job. A man called Sebastian has come to me with a tempting proposal. He wants me to steal an ancient artifact, the Unknown God, from the house of Mercusio, who owns a pharmacy in Wayside. Besides being rich, the guy is also an art collector. Just out of curiosity, I dug up some information on this Sebastian, as I've never heard of him before. Turns out that he's the partner and the right arm of Alexandros, a rather bizarre character, a stranger who appeared in the city one day out of nowhere. He purchased and restored the manor which once belonged to Constantine, and made a gentleman's club of it. <laughs> I wonder what Constantine would say about that. But I don't really give a damn. As long as I get paid, I'm not gonna ask where the money's coming from or why they want that item so badly. Mercusio's house is inaccessible and well guarded, but its weak point is the pharmacy, which is attached to the manor. It's protected by a gate with a strong lock, but Zack, an old buddy, promised to provide me with the key for it. The authorities announced a curfew is in effect for some reason. But do they even need a reason? I suspect they do it every now and then just to keep things under control. By the way, Reuben Varden, the new sheriff, is another sinister villain. Even worse than Truart was, if that's even possible. Anyway, a curfew has never slowed me down, so I'm not going to change my plans. I'm just waiting for Zack to bring me the key, then I'm ready to go. <laughs> what the... Oh. All right. Uh, all right. Someone is in a hurry. It must be sad. I like the curfew reference to how everybody just uses a curfew for no reason. Uh, hurry? Looks like I've been drinking. I can't hurry. I'm drunk. Oh, oh, oh Lady Rowena would love me being very non-serious. I don't know. Did she ever watch my Let's Plays? Probably not. Oh, but it's an apple. Here's to you, Lady R. Oh, yeah. Okay, but seriously, well, I guess I'm too late for the door. Mr. Garrett, I have to inform you that Zack won't be coming. He was arrested a few hours ago. He tried to give me a message for you, but he didn't have enough time. I advise you to stay home tonight, as the streets are full of policemen. It's too dangerous to even come up here, a friend. Huh. Now I just need my equipment. <laughs> I see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Always with it. Wait a minute, is this... Oh, this is my apartment apartment. Apartment apartment. My official apartment from the official games. Oh, nice. So, I don't know. Right off the bat, this is looking like Rowena. It's kind of warm and homey up in here. I was going to say homely, but no, this place is beautiful. I don't know why homely means not beautiful. What the heck's wrong with home? <sighs> Words. Okay. Uh, but damn. Damn! It seems that Zack has gotten into trouble. Go to the police station and try to free him, 
or to at least get the key. Don't forget to equip yourself before going out. All right. That's sort of two in one, but... Yeah, so anyways, this... This, there was supposed to be three missions in this series. This is the first. The other two never finished or lost or something. Does I go out my own freaking window? Sure, why not? So... It's a cliffhanger, I guess. Oh, well... Oh, I do have a working light gem. Good. Upton Rise. Rise up and walk. It closed due to curfew. No real jokes about it or nothing, but this is surreal playing a new Rowena mission. I mean, even in the circumstances, it's... I don't know, man. It's kind of a wondrous thing. And we're going to a pharmacy, and you know there was a pharmacy in the Seven Sisters where you could get Viagra and... Shifting sandland juice or what? <laughs> Possibly even some gun juice. So, not not too well armed in the amount department, but fairly well armed in the variety department. What's a hammerite doing here? Oh, well. Citizens! As everyone already knows, a ferocious murderer is roaming the city. A fourth corpse was discovered in the Grand Canal this morning. Once again, the victim is a young woman whose identity is still unknown. Just like the previous ones, it seems that the unfortunate had been strangled first, then thrown completely naked into the water. Considering that the place where the murders are being committed is unknown, because the corpses might have been transported by the current from very far away, we are forced to adopt extreme measures in an attempt to pinpoint the area where the murderer operates. Hence, beginning this evening at sunset, and for an indeterminate period of time, a curfew is in force. All citizens will have to remain in their houses. The only exception is for guards of every order and rank. All the gates, not only those which access the districts, but also those of private residences, courtyards, and canals, must always be locked from sunset to dawn. Only in case of serious necessity will anyone be allowed to go out, and even then they must be escorted to their destination by a guard. Infringement of these rules for any reason will be punished by three days in prison. We are expecting maximum cooperation from from all of our citizens, Sheriff Reuben Van Walden. Whoa. Uh, all right then, Hammerite, you're not a guard of a rank, you're a Hammerite. Also, I guess I've got a rope here. So start looking up something I never do. Oh. But yeah, it's a weird feeling. It really is. I heard that one mission in this campaign, or all of them maybe, I don't know, was based on the old busted up old quarter from Thief 1, but this doesn't necessarily look like that to me, so I don't know, but maybe I've got a map. Oh, I do. Whoa! <laughs> That's a Rowena map, all right. Look at that detail. Holy crap. Uh, right. Well, I guess I'll just go around until I find thing. Uh, there. Your, your silly voice. There's your prisoner. <laughs> Yeah, how did I not notice you? <sighs> you foolish fool. Yeah. Weird. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. Look up. Look up. Look up. Look up. There's nothing up anywhere. Ever. That's not wood. Wait a minute. Is that wood? I know. I know. I know. I know. Where'd you come nope. from? Wasn't too sure if it was nobbledy wood or nobbledy metal. Nobbledy metal is my favorite metal. Not novelty. I hate novelties. Good. Kind of stick me in novel things. I don't like them. They remind me of reading a novel. I did that one time. It was traumatic. There were no pictures or nothing. Um. <laughs> well, at least the murderer strangled his victims and didn't do anything else. Oh, God. I... Hello, backup program that's actually really good, but I forgot you exist. Oh. Boy, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I recognize that picture for some reason. I've been staring at too many pictures of foul ladies. Yes, that's right, you're foul. Something's dining. Alms dining home cooked food. Alright. It's the Merry Widow. Is a Widow Mary? Also, I guess her husband went to war because she looks rather young for a widow, but I guess. 
In these old times, everybody can be a widow. Everybody! Spiders, fish, everybody. Hey, you... Yeah, I don't know. This is looking like it's a bit linear. A bit is high. Oh, guess what? Hey, guys. I guess when am I going to reload? No. That was a little bit mistimed there, because I actually had to reload then. No. I guess this is not necessary. Yeah, that was totally skill. Early <laughs> a thieves' highway type mission. It's fine. Yeah. Bespeak thyself. I should voice another hammerite. It is not enough to read. It's my other hammerite voice. It's everyone's favorite. <laughs> Spied something. I don't know, you guys. Ah, I shall not escape. I don't know, you guys. I like that guy. I don't ever want to escape him. Because he's such a sweetie. Pumpkins. Ooh. He's piloting a blimp. You know, because he's sweet, therefore he's piloting a blimp. I don't know, you guys. I should probably start. I should probably actually follow the frickin' tide over here. Follow the tide. That that's the term, right? Oh, hey, it's a yeah. pretty cool. Pretty cool ambience. Actually, I don't know. It's maybe I'm imagining it, but it's also kind of homey. This whole town is. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Don't have much to say so far, but maybe once I start getting some loot stuffed in my nostrils, I can go wibble, and everything will be just great as day. On the greatest day. Christmas. I don't know, but I keep saying, uh, I keep saying Christmas, by which I mean I just said it one time there and not ever else that you guys can be proven to. So, uh, don't you wonder why that I keep one time saying, oh, it's Christmas without realizing where it's from. I do, don't thing. Hey, Brother Caleb, Lady Whiplet's key is ready to be delivered. I left it on the workbench. I need some sleep now, so I shall see you tomorrow. Sirs, Lady Whiplet's. Uh, is, is this a bench? I don't know. I'm just gonna say it isn't. I guess Garrett isn't interested in reading those Hammerite novels. I tell you, man. Novels. Traumatic. Don't freaking do it. Oh. Thought that was some sort of dewdrop doll of a small size, but no. It's hammer safe key number two. What a label. No named regex groups here. Ugh. I've been coding, man. I've been coding FM info gen. What gen's info? I could even gen info from this yeah. very mission. Ho, ho, ho. Is it not incredible? Are you not afraid? Good. Oh, it's, hey, it's a wax cube. Oh, oh, oh. Boss of wax. So many numerals. Uh, 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 uh. A deposit box key. There must be a few others scattered around the quarter. Collect them all. We'll collect them all. Oh, this is it, is it? Oh, that's not good for red shirt. Oh. Hey, guys, guess what? You have a red shirt. <laughs> Boy, I don't think I've ever made that joke in my entire career. Well, I just did, so now I can really retire in style. Or in some form of... Uh, oh. Hey. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Not the greatest place that I ever did done imagine or nothing. Oh wow. Hammers, they're always they're always friendly. What art thou villain? Oh boy. <laughs> but yes. Oh man. Okay, so it's thieves. Maybe not highway, but thieves rule road. Oh, oh. Whoa. Hey, guys, guess what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm reloading. I know. I know. Get on your tiptoes, scumbag. Yeah. 
guards walking up here. Not the safest place for a red shirt. That was a reference to Star Shrek. It exists. Look it up if you're tremendously interested in every single word that I say ever. Or did that guy really just... That guard, he just popped up here somehow. Like, how did he even... How did he do? Wished I could have seen that. Oh. Oh, we're... Oh, it's, okay, it's not even a rural road. It's a dirt gravel path because gravel... You could throw it into a pond and walk away real slow. Also, it kicks up dust in a pickup truck. Dropping off a cliff in a white tinted explorer. These are all things that small little rocks can do. Oh, okay, it's back to being a rural road now, okay. But tonight, woman, we'll be going down, down to the Burrick place. At the walled quarter arena, Big Joe versus Swift Footed Achilles. <laughs> uh, I can't quite read that amazingly important poster here. Excuse me, sir. Why don't you make this easy? God damn it. Hoping to play some skill there. Excuse me, sir. Who goes there? Speak well, okay. No skill tonight. Must bow in utter revenge. Ah. Ed the Red versus a Gwitty, smiling Jack versus You gonna come quietly Torque. or you're gonna get hurt. <laughs> they call me the Leather Ripper. They call me Smiling Jack. That's not Judas Priest. Oh, never said it was, but goddamn. Okay, well, oh yeah, that's right. Hey guys, I'm going up to this door here. Once again, there is pain. I bring flames. I bring cold. I'm the nice, gentle Sandman, punching your face and making you fall into the river naked while being strangled. Ye, it's your own fault. Somehow, should probably have roped up there. Actually, but nah. Oh. Oh. Hey guys. Guess what? <laughs> so my door just opens here. Right, well, it's about time I stop messing about and go to the bathroom. Oh! That was the most mediocre thing I have ever experienced in my life. It is the most unmemorable thing I've seen yet. I will not cherish it forever unless I remember to, in which case I guess I will, but... <laughs> Uh, hmm. I, don't I thought know. I okay. spied something. I, uh, hmm. The noise has stopped. Sorry. It was no doubt nothing. I'm such a narcissist that I just like to listen to the guy who vaguely sounds like the guy I imitate. That was a thing you could say. That. That yeah, I do a thing. Oh, my, my, Mrs. Danvers, custom dressmaking. Get more dressmaking now. So that's not what it says. That's written in some sort of Egyptian. That was a reference. Ah, uh, there is no Egyptian, or is there? Might be Arabic. Christ, if I know. <laughs> well, whatever. Here's to you, Lady R. Again, I'm gonna eat something healthy now. So I eat an apple. I've eaten three carrots. It's a good, solid meal. If I eat enough good, solid meals, perhaps. <sighs> In the good old afterlife, I too will... Uh... I don't know what'll happen. Hey, who knows what'll happen in life? Yeah, don't you just hate when I end my phrases with like, Oh, you thought I was gonna say something snappy? No, I'm just gonna say, I don't know. <laughs> but lies the fact that I often don't know what I'm talking about. You thought. So yeah. A bit linear thus far, I guess. But surely things will become more crazy go nuts later on. Surely. Hey, hey, hey. What if I could get up there? Wait a minute. That's a sticky outy thing, but I don't think it's wood. Is it? Oh, it is. <laughs> rotten wood, perhaps. But even rotten wood will make you avoid scurvy if you eat it. <laughs> Pretty sure. <laughs> No one can sue me because scurvy does not exist ever anymore, probably. So that's why I can just say all this silly garbage. Uh oh. 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 
Holy crap, I thought I did the wrong thing there for a second. Lady Maycott, the baby was born last night. Male, with blonde hair, in good health, and with a strong constitution. According to our agreement, no name has yet been given to him, so that you may choose one to your liking later. I rented a deposit box at the Wayside Bank under the name Blackwell. I'm enclosing the key with this letter. If you don't want to compromise yourself, send someone to deposit 1,000 gold as we agreed, then send me a message with the key in return. As soon as I get the money, I will let you know where and when will hand over the baby. We, we have an agreement here, or is it a bribery? Yeah, the tone is... Toneful. Once again, I want to assure you that even if this deal is not completely legal, you shouldn't have any scruples, as the mother is completely agreeable. She is just too ashamed to do it herself. The money will serve to guarantee a better life for the rest of her children, and the child you adopt will surely have a brighter future than the one destiny had in store for him, Mr. Blackwell. Oh. Thought they were doing some kind of crazy deal about giving, them, giving gold to someone to... Have him not tell people you had a baby. I don't know. No, it's adoption. Great. It's cheerful. God. <laughs> okay, then. Never mind. Mr. Blackwell, I have deposited the money as instructed, and with this letter I'm returning the key to you. I hope that Lady Maycott and I will not have cause to regret having trusted you. I warn you, if you dare to double-cross us, I swear that I will scour the whole world quarter to unearth you, and you will pay for it. It. Hmm. So they're, they're adopting someone, and that's, like, not fr not smiled upon in these ye old times. Yeah. Well, okay, then. I don't know. But you know what? This is Erwina mission, so she's probably going to be in some trouble, and I probably have to help her. Or maybe this is some kind of crazy exception, and you end up just... Oh, look at all these deposit boxes. You end up just screwing everybody over. I don't think that's going to happen, but... <laughs> Who knows? I just, yeah, I just, I can't see it, man. Oh, but wait. What happens that... Oh, you can get back up. Fine, however... Uh, uh, would there be some secret glute around here? I hear there's an Easter egg area. But, uh, well, who knows if I'm going to find that either. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Whatever I say, who knows? <laughs> hey, you. You're deaf? <laughs> it's not acceptable all these times either. You have to be definitive. You're not allowed to be deaf yet. Nor are you allowed to be cool, hip, or caddish. Oh, caddish. Oh, man. I sure would like to become literally a cat so that I could walk around scratching at people and going like <laughs> and eating food. Boy, that sure would be great. Maybe in the future, technology will allow humans to just literally transmute into cats, but no other animals, because cats are jerks, and so therefore humans can transmute into them. This is how it works, mate. Unfortunately, real life physics and chemistry is irritatingly frickin' full of complexities and shit that doesn't belong in any fantasy novel. You have to be all like, Oh, you can't turn lead into gold? That would be amusing! Except in that one documentary by Terry Jones where he's like, Oh, you could have a nuclear reactor blast at a lead wall and it'll turn to gold. I, I find that statement dubious, but like, I don't frickin' know about physics, do I? I've Whatever. Hey, it's a police station. Yet another thing from the Seven Sisters. And then there's some untextured dogs there. Which kind of remind me of some dogs in, uh... Police Butter 3. You know what I'm talking about, for the Dark Mod. Where the heck am I? Where the heck am I? I'm at a canal passage. Hey, guys. Yes, you already know. It's a canal passage. Not an auto map though, but it's very detailed to make up for it. Surprisingly enough, not too many missions have auto maps, which is a fact that I've learned through my incredible scanner. Oh, but we'll take whatever. Oh yeah, it's a curfew. Cops are crawling all over the place. I know they look like they're walking, but you take my word, they're crawling. That is in front of a railing. Pretty great. 
subjecting this mission to the same silly nonsense that I always say. Whoa, whoa. But it's okay. Because I'm in love with this jar of peanut butter and the implications are disgusting. You just stand around. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. Just stand around there. You... You're on the move! Up the highway. Boiling with every poison you can think of. Let's see some identification. But only in your... What the hell? I, I have no idea what just happened here. Hmm. Maybe I'll just... Huh. That's... Did she find a body or something? Let's see some identification. Yeah, well, I guess also, like the Seven Sisters, there's a little visual bug and shadow or something. You remember that place with the tower archers? You you know what I'm talking about. No? Well, sorry. Right. Try to ghost the Seven Sisters. Everybody, I order you to do it. It's fun. And I'm not even that big of a ghoster, but that particular mission... Pretty fun. Well, it's three missions, but, uh, you know. Like pretty fun to ghost. Hey! <laughs> Oh man, well... Yeah, I don't have to go, I could jump in the water, that's an option. Whoa. I keep comparing this to the Seven Sisters, I don't know, but hey, awesome. The Seven Sisters is one of my all-time favorite missions. And I... Very... Fond thoughts of it. So, uh... I don't know, oh hey, this is not even like a real, 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 is this the secret? box thing. Well, I don't want to just randomly do this, but <laughs> whatever. Okay, then. Well, that was anticlimactic, just like my statements, and I can't seem to get back up, so. Oh, yeah, but at least I can bypass you. Garrett, you're not allowed in the river unless you're naked and possibly dead. Duh. But naked is good enough. What? Also rather disgusting. Okay, yeah, this is this is more like it. Going underneath some sewers, picking up some arrows, hearing some video game sounds while I'm at it. I don't know, it's the good life. Let's drink some alcohol and state how good things are a lot. Another coin. I don't know. No. <laughs> oh no, is this just... I'll find you. No, it's not. It's it's a, it's a police station. Clearly. Or something. This is exactly where I want to be. <laughs> I don't know. It's always fun going to the police station in Thief, because it's just like, hey, y'all, why would you do that? And then you do? <laughs> Man, Merry frickin' Holidays Christmas, y'all. Merry frickin' Holidays Christmas. I don't know, I just felt like randomly blurting that out. Don't tell me it's weird. Oh, my husband is so strange. I mean, I like him and all, but I just don't like how he randomly tells me that he loves me. That's so strange and nobody ever does that. What a weirdo. Uh, I don't know. That sounds kind of sweet to me, but I guess when you're having to write a book about strange people, you have to be strange. Hey. Okay, deposit boxes. B -b 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 bank English lyrics to this song are not nearly as good. Yeah, okay, where... Surely there's a bank or something. Hammerite compound, the Mary Widow. I don't know. I guess I'll... Find it, unless the pharmacy has deposit boxes. Or unless I've heard already and I just forgot. I don't know, man. Or maybe... Maybe these boxes are deposit boxes. <laughs> they're not in a bank, but they're out in the open, and you do deposit things in them in a manner of spray kind. We all wear masks. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. I did not go shopping today, so tomorrow, which is today for you, I'm going to have to. Actually, it's today for me, too, so never mind. Dear Charlotte, 
along with this letter, I'm sending you some more money. I recommend that you immediately take it to the bank and put it in our deposit box. You can't be too careful. I saw some sinister faces around the last time I visited you and that Zack on the ground floor. I don't like him at all. I'm sure I've seen him hanging around with those people from the walled quarter. Stay alert! As for the rest, well, it's hard to explain. Alexandros is a generous master. The work as a cook is never too hard. The personnel are treated very well, and the lodging is more than decent. But still... You remember when I told you how the fact that we are obliged to wear a mask on duty made me laugh? It seemed so absurd and ridiculous. Well, I'm glad of it now, and I'm even more glad that everyone else from the guards to the guests is wearing one. I don't want to know their identity, and I don't want them to know mine. Once I get out of this place, I want to forget them all because I'm too ashamed of what I'm witnessing here. I'm afraid to say any more. Only one thing about the young Paulette who wanted to ask for work as a maid here. Tell her to not do it! I am older, and I thought I'd seen just about everything, but this place is wicked evil. I will stay just long enough to save some money for my old age. Then I will retire. In fact, I can't wait to get away. Let me know how you are and how things are going. I'll let you know if there's any news. Your loving sister sounds exactly like a guy because I forgot to go like flip 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 all the time Mariana Trench <laughs> but Zach there, see there's a letter you're not supposed to read twice I think and I'm trying not to read it twice I guess that's Zach on the ground floor I did check this didn't I yeah I guess so well, this place is evil. I'm not sure what kind of evil. But one never knows what kind of despicablisms lurk around. But I've got a whole lot of box keys, but no real, like, other keys, I don't think. Strange. Well... <laughs> well, I guess I could go back down to the river. But instead, just like old times, let's bop everybody on the head. Bop everybody till they're dead. All right, expert is expert. Can never you mind, I'm going back in a drink. Well, I guess an odd noise is better than a loud noise, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Think you'll escape. I'll find hey, here. There's a guy in the river who isn't naked and uh, dead. Uh, let's fix one of those two things. <laughs> oh, never mind. <sighs> Just wait it out here. Exciting. Hey, remember when I turned on that max multiply thing and all the lights blew out because I couldn't adjust gamma? <laughs> remember those things? <laughs> And no one was like, hey guys, name's Fen. I'm trying to find a catchphrase. I'm like, the game's the Seven Sisters. My name's Fen. Remember those days? <laughs> Remember when my first Thief Gold video for, for like the Thief Gold, the game was like really annoying and, and I was just like, hey guys, you're Edgar Gold. And then everybody watched it and 1% of people thumbs it down. Remember those times? Oh man. Hey, did you notice anything? I feel like I should ghosting more, but hey guys, remember when I always used to say that too? I don't know, this is a nostalgic episode because it's kind of tinged with nostalgia. <sighs> Those days when the legends were still living. Oh yeah, and they have names which I've been not paying attention in another arena. Trademark Bob and Bert. And I think it might also be a Rowena trademark to name them Bob and Bert, or name them things that are cutely similar. Hardy and Pratt, security systems with an eye. Your security is our concern. Yeah, oh, you're mechanists, are you? Doesn't seem like a kind of thing that a lay house would do. But I guess if you get laid in a house, what more could you ask for from life? Nobody can really tell you nothing, and. There's one more guy here. Or a uh, girl. And, you know, once you've gotten laid inside of a house, you're golden. Your life is, like, amazing. And you've got confidence to spare. But if you haven't gotten laid, such as me, then you end up 
with a sore neck, and then you just kind of be tasteless. I was almost tasteless there, but nope. Yeah, this is a great idea. <laughs> See? Yeah, <laughs> it a great idea. I, well, I want to find a place with some deposit boxes I put in. Zach has gotten in trouble. Go to the police station and try to free... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm supposed to go to the police station. Where's the police station? There it is. Where am I? Yeah, I Well, let's see. There's a river there, I guess. Presumably. I'm somewhere along the river, I guess. I don't know. Like I said, just going and going and going until I finally went. What was that, you think? You don't call me Wentworth for nothing. My... Just my Wents are worth their weight in gold. That was hilarious. Woof, and then be sad. Sit down, shut up, and go moo. Oh, here I am here again. Which, I don't even know where this is, but... Hey, it's... Swan... There. You're under arrest. Tatter. It's swa- Oh, what? Uh, uh, road. Oh, I. Uh, Bull of. Oh, swa. Oh, what was it? Right. Swan. Oh, I'm all the way up here. Am I? Where? Well, there's the police station. So I don't know what I was even looking there for. I totally didn't just forget immediately. So instead of busting in the front door, I'm thinking it might be a good idea to see if I can bust in somewhere else. Oh. Whoa. Oh, there's the bank. So, policeman, policeman, policeman station is there, and the bank is like somewhere, but it's not listed at all. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, you. Utter troll. Yeah, that's right, son. You're a troll. Shumaro. Right, right. Okay, so. The bunker. That bank. Is gonna fall. Right after I. Right after I make some turtle soup. That line was nothing to do with anything. Remember, I could talk without going like. And slackening my jaw. <laughs> you remember, I was like, hey, guys, these fan. I'm doing some excitement stuff. And then. Remember the times before that when I also didn't? And then. When I was playing. Uh, that super hard mode mission where the 1.01 version was accidentally wrong. Uh, lingering whispers. And it was like. Hey, guys, name's Fan Playing <laughs> And everybody loved it. Ah, uh, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No to a guard, just any guard or a specific guard. Keep the lower, keep the lower case there, man. It's it's super trendy. Stevie, would you mind keeping an eye on my ventilator shaft gate while you are patrolling up there? And also allow me to meet the Beastie Boys, please. I've lost the key for the gate to Narrow Lane. I think I might have dropped it in the alley, but I wasn't able to find it. Uh, don't worry, I will reward your trouble, Sir Roland. Stevie, would you mind keeping an eye on my ventilator shaft gate? Narrow Lane. Narrow, oh there it is, Narrow Lane. Narrow lane. There it is. Narrow lane. This is my poem. I was about to get rich, but I lost the entire text. Never remember it again. Anyway, right. Someone there. If that's the bank, maybe this is the bank. Uh, but it's just a regular address. Perhaps I'm misinterpreting something. Oh, no. <laughs> I wonder if I'm even... <laughs> this is going to be bad news if I have to run out, but hey, whatever. You'll forgive me for flipping my screen on and off, but uh, Double Deuce is something that it's quite into having been done to it. And uh, uh, Who am I to oblige? Because people just have strange fetishisms these days. I don't know how I would know that. <laughs> right, well, yeah. I guess I did miss some toy put something. But low, yeah, this is okay, this is ventilation shaft. Oh, I don't even need a key. Funny. I guess the key really is lost. Right, then, yeah, this is cool. This is cool. Things are really starting to open up now. Some see oh. What? 
So, wait a minute. Is this the key? Oh, it's the key to the... Oh, the gate, the gate, the gate, the gate, the Who's gate. There? Speak up. <laughs> Speak up. Who's there? You have to come back at nine bells. <laughs> Wasn't funny at all, but hey, laughter is the food of love. So play on. I think it's... Freeze go. Fans are off center. I remember when I was a young and who couldn't afford his own computer. I had a 386 like 20 years after it was out of date. And the power supply fan was sort of broken. No, 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 no. I'm going somewhere interesting with this. And uh, I didn't really realize this, of course. And when I finally did realize it, I decided to fix it, even though it somehow didn't need it. It just kept running because that's how it went back. And I fixed it by uh, taking a thumbtack and taping it onto the fan frame where it would uh, push the fan back onto its spindle and it would start spinning again. It was absolutely incredible. Dear Roland, this is my lady voice. It's my only lady voice. Sorry for the delay answering, but I've been quite busy the last few days. Finally, I've gotten the advertising posters for the inn displayed all over the district. Business is going very well. Much better since Norman has gone. <laughs> the Merry Widow Inn is going to become one of the most renowned places in the city. It's quite funny when you think that it was Norman himself that decided on the name for the inn. I'm a Merry Widow indeed now, in spite of people's belief that the Taffer has escaped with his lover. I will never forget the day I discovered the secret passage between your house and the inn, and how I felt betrayed and humiliated. I have no remorse for what we have done, and you shouldn't either. Shouldn't we? Your house and the inn? Humili... Whatever. Sue Ann used to run into her lover's arms every time you were out of town. Everyone in the district but you and I knew of their affair. They got what they deserved, believe me. Don't be afraid, as I'm sure no one will unearth our secret. Who would ever notice the switch on your door jam? As for me, it was just by accident that I hit the switch under the shelf, and the lumber room is always locked anyway, so don't be worried. In regard to your proposal, I sound like a hammer now. Well, I'm so sorry to disappoint you, but I have to refuse. I've been hurt. My heart is broken, you know. <laughs> It'll take time before I can trust a man again. This voice is not good for emotional moments. Nothing personal, of course. I'm completely absorbed by the inn management now. My only desire is to forget what happened and reorganize my life. Why can't we be just good friends? You may come to the inn whenever you want to have a chat and a cup of coffee. You will be always welcome, but please don't ask me for anything else. Not now. Let time heal my injuries. Miranda. Hmm. Well, I hope this guy is not a jerk face. Oh boy, I guess we'll find out in his secret locker. Oh. Why would she feel humiliated by... A passage between this guy's house and... Uh, oh, it's because his girl was going with some other girl. I don't know. Love is complicated and cheating is even more complicated. And, uh, basically just, I don't touch my base eyes. But she sent a letter to this guy. And there's a switch on a door jam. This door jam? Or, or, or what? 100% sure what's going the heck on here. There's someone there. Thief! Stop him! Yeah, stop me. Maybe, maybe I'm... <clears throat> well, never mind that. Uh, at least I... Hey! I can't even pick... Oh, I can't pick up the readable! I can't pick up the readable and it's got important info. What... Ah, uh, maybe he's in an inn, not a house. Uh, switch on your door jam between your house and the inn. Okay, well, I guess that's how I sneak in or something. But why is this guy here? Is this his house? Looks more like just a room with. No house about it, but hey, whatever. Oh. Weird. Hey, there's a drunken guy. It's great. That's all I have to say on the matter. 
Sir Roland Bredham. So maybe I have to go from the inn to the place then? Like what's... Oh. <laughs> That's right. Oh boy, am I in some trouble now, presumably. Hey guys, remember when I used to cut during lockpicks? Oh, you in there, Sir Martin? Good, hey. Oh, I didn't take care of you, did I? What a pity. Is that something crazy or just something normal? Normal, I suppose. Alright, well. It's time for me to mumble a lot some more. No, I did take care of you. Well. This is opulent. Well, this is opulent. It's not op no more. I don't know, that sounds like a Garrett line. But it needs to have more of a French accent, because Garrett has more of a French accent. Ow! I couldn't believe my own eyes. I still can't believe it. Monsters. Insane criminals. That's what they are. Why? Why did I feel the need to search for such morbid affairs? Why did I have to betray my wife? Julia is such an adorable woman, and we could have been happy together. Who cares if we can't have children? But maybe everything is not lost. When she looks at me these days, sometimes I seem to still catch a glimmer of affection in her eyes. This is it, y'all. This is it. This is who you gotta help. This is the helping part! Oh yeah! If only they will leave me alone. If only they'll forget about me. Julia, please help me. Stand by me. I'm so afraid. Oh. Well. Guess I should leave it on such a tragic ending as that. So, uh. That was not the twice letter. So, uh. I'll hold you instead. I can stand by you. I'll stand by you instead. Bye.